So, hello again in another exciting tutorial with Unity and Playmaker with Miromi Fauzi. And this is the sixth episode of our uh, shoot 'em up uh, 3D shoot 'em up uh, tutorial series. And in this episode, I'm going to uh, discuss or show you how to create an enemy variation. So, uh, we can create another enemies with different uh, pattern of movement and we can replace it to our enemy group easily. So, I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so first I'm going to delete all of the other fighter low prefabs over here and uh, just uh, left one instance of it and then I'm going to rename our uh, FSM name. So basically we have two FSMs before and this is the enemy mechanic and this is FSM. Uh, for this one, let's rename this to a destroy when leaving the screen I like a descriptive name so it's easy for us uh, to track down when we we, we go uh, we want to alter the projects later and for the enemy mechanic I'm going to rename this to enemy lives because uh, this FSM will handle the destroying part okay so let's Okay, after that, this is basically, uh, this is actually a prefab, uh, but the the prefab is uh, from the assets and uh, the master prefab or our instance prefab doesn't have the component that we have already created on our scene. So I'm going to uh, create this object as a new prefab. In order to do that, just drag this uh, object to our uh, prefab folder. So we have a new uh, filer low prefabs over here. Okay. So, if you want to, you can copy this further. Uh, copy this again by clicking Control D and duplicate it. Uh, how much? Uh, how many you want to? Okay. In order to create a new uh, enemy, I'm going to uh, use the same model but with different texture so let's edit the texture go to our space fighter here and art asset and under the texture we have the fighter low uh, dot png so I'm going to open this file or I'm going to show this in an explorer and then I'm going to edit this in a Photoshop so I'm going to open this with Photoshop and this is the texture I'm going only to change the hue value so go to image adjustment and pick hue saturation and just slide the hue color so we have a different color maybe this uh, bluish color and then I'm going to select by a color using select color range and here let's select this part here okay once we have select this I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to fill this with a new color maybe a orange color and then select the paint bucket here fill bucket and click okay so now we have a different color and maybe we can change the the blending modes so we can um, perhaps there will I don't I'm not sure is this okay just leave it for normal maybe and lower the opacity a bit okay and after that let's flatten the image by go to the layer and flatten the image and then save this save as to a different file name so fire fighter low two maybe and save it okay once it's saved just close the Photoshop and go back to our unity and we will have a new texture over here so let's create a new uh, material so we have this uh, fighter low material and I'm going to duplicate this and we have a fighter low one I'm going to rename this to fighter 
low to and for this selected material let's change the base RGB color to a viral load so we have a different material okay so now I'm going to uh, disable this object here and then I'm going to duplicate our enemy group over here and I'm going to move it to the side a bit and I'm going to delete all of the child object uh, I'm going to leave one the copy and then I'm going to uh, delete the animator so I want to create a new animation and for this object I'm going to use a new material so I'm going to expand the fighter low prefabs and the object fighter low I'm going to change the model here the material to the new material that we have created so go to back to our space fighter uh, asset folder and go to the art asset materials and drag this yellow fighter to the fighter low here so there you go we get we have a new enemy different with different colors and then now make sure that our tra uh, our position transform is zero 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 on the X and Y and Z and now let's create a new animation so I'm going to change our view from the top view so by selecting the Y axis here and make make it a uh, orthographic by clicking on the middle box over here I'm oh, sorry this one okay so now let's create a new animation <coughs> I'm going to go to our animation window over here and then by selecting our fighter or low prefab I'm going to create a new animation so let's save it under the assets animations and I'm going to uh, rename this to enemy B move maybe to left okay okay let's animate this on the one and a half second I'm going to move this inside to our screen here and then I'm uh, on the maybe around two seconds or two second half it will leave the screen and let's try the movement uh, so just like the one before but with a slight different movement okay so I'm going to add a transform at a property under our animation go to transform and add a rotation okay so I'm going to sorry I'm going to copy our rotations key here so click the rotation and pr press ctrl C and then go to our one second and third uh, half one and a half second and paste the key over here so we have the same rotation over here and then we can rotate on the y-axis maybe around here so we can see that the ship is turning like this yeah we have a problem like the ones before and we can just set the rotation make sure that the key of our rotation is set to both tangent to linear so it will stay and then it will rotate and I'm going just to delete our last keyframe on the y-axis so remove delete key so we don't have key so it will stay turning let's try it okay I'm going to slide the rotation Y keys a bit 
to maybe run here so it will turn nice I think that would be okay and if we, if we want to make this uh, longer I mean not not too fast we can uh, decrease the sample to maybe 45 this is basically the frame rate that the animation will play so it doesn't move too quickly okay so our movement is basically around three seconds okay so think that should be okay okay just turn off the recording so we don't uh, accidentally animate anything anymore and then I'm going to drag this new low prefab I'm going to rename this a, uh, to B add a suffix of B and then uh, uh, create create this object as a prefab again so drag this to the prefab folder okay so now we have the animator and we already have an uh, the FSM with uh, destroy when leaving the screen and basically what this FSM is doing is it destroy the object uh, with a delay three seconds so it should be uh, it should be safe because uh, the animation is around three seconds so it means our enemy ship is already outside of our screen and with this it will automatically uh, interact with our bullet uh, blaster so this should be already working and uh, I'm going to move our enemy group here maybe slide on the backwards so it it will appear a couple uh, a while after the enemy group uh, a formation already been launched so maybe move this here and then we can duplicate the fighter low prefab B maybe five copies and then we can disable all of the object here so say I'm going to save the scene and let's try this oh. by the way I've created a new explosion uh, with the reference uh, in the last episode that I've already provided the link for the uh, explosion tutorial so if you want to you can use that uh, tutorial to create a better explosion compared than to mine uh, thanks to Gabriel Martino okay okay basically our enemy movement is too wide it's too I mean it's too it's too far away so I'm going to edit the the position here it's not so far like this but I'm going to slide this back maybe around here because our collider enemy trigger is around on the top uh, outside just a bit outside from our camera here on the top so once the enemy group A gets triggered the movement is too far because we are practically uh, the ship are practically moving too far away from the parent object so I'm going to readjust the animation or it would be easier just to grab the parent object and let's look at our camera or or maybe we can just move the enemy group A here show gizmo here and then maybe push it a bit wider to the screen so we can see can we see ah there we can see it so this is our outside screen so in order to fix the animation we can just try this and basically what we have right now is too far the, the ship is already leaving the screen so go to the second uh, uh, the this timeline here and move this back on the z-axis so we can see the position maybe here and we can just move this back here so we have a 
and if it's if it's too slow we can just always increase the sample back to 60 and we can see in our game here okay maybe 45 or 50 would be would be a better choice here okay yep so I think that should be working just disable this and uh, basically this animation has already been applied to the other fighter role prefab because it's it, it, it is sharing the same animation file so disable the fighter role prefab uh, the first one again and move this group back where back to the position before okay save the scene and let's try this okay there we have a working and as you can see okay <laughs> if I bless all of the enemy ship so we cannot see the movement here okay I'm going to destroy this one and I'm going just to destroy a couple ship okay so that is how to create a enemy variation and I hope with this uh, tutorial you can create many different patterns just like uh, the one in sh most of the shoot em up games have okay thanks for watching if you like this episode please subscribe mm, and stay tuned for another episode of the shoot em up tutorial see ya mm -hmm.